Hello, Faux From It here. And today we're gonna to be talking about two topics. So the first topic is going to be buying your very first avatar from Booth. And the second topic is getting your avatar ready for VRChat SDK 3.0 or Avatar 3.0. If you just want to skip to getting your avatar ready for Avatar 3.0, please see this time code. So a big shout out goes to my friend Arcanet. You can find their information in the comment or the video description down below. Uh, they have taken the time to record their very first purchase of an avatar from Booth. So once you find an avatar on Booth that you like, like this one right here, just like a normal shopping experience, you add it to your cart and then you go to the checkout and you can choose your method of payment such as PayPal, credit card, or whatever um, method you use. Normally I just use PayPal and it's gonna to connect to your PayPal account like normal. And just for safety's sake, we, we blurred all this information out. But all you need to do is just confirm your PayPal information, then confirm your order by clicking con confirmation order. And if you want to, you can choose to follow the shop. Personally, I like to choose to recommend following the shop, but you don't have to. And then you click the place order button. So once your order has been confirmed, you're gonna see download items, and then it's gonna bring you to your order details. and. When in your avatar, you're actually going to see a download button and it's going to usually download as a zip file. So what you need to do is go to new in Unity Hub, choose 2018.4.20 F1, then just name your project name and then click create. Once Unity is opened, there's going to be a couple files that you're going to need. And I'm going to make sure that I put the links in the video description below, but you are going to need um, a couple things. So first, you're going to need something called Dynamic Bones. You can go to the Asset Store and here you can type Dynamic Bones and then you can purchase it and then add it to your uh, add it to your current project. So the next few things that you're going to need are actually 100% free. So there's going to be two shaders that I'm going to recommend downloading, maybe download both. I personally use two and it's Poyomi Tune Shader. So all you have to do is click and drag the Unity package into Unity and then click Import. Next. In Unity Tune Shader, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna find the shader and you're gonna click and drag it into your assets folder. And then click import. And the very last thing that you're gonna need is the VRChat SDK. I'll put the link down below. You're gonna click and drag it in once again and then click import. You're gonna see a new window pop up, which you can close. Now you can open the avatar zip file that you downloaded from Booth. And inside the zip file, you're gonna find a Unity package that you can click and drag into Unity. Once that is all imported, you're gonna see a few things. So you're gonna to go to your asset section, look for the avatar maker's name, and then you're gonna look for the prefabs. So in this case, it's gonna be the avatar's maker's name, Sin, and then um, the avatar package that I have is the, the Lemi avatar. And then in there, you're gonna see prefabs. So from there, you're just gonna choose um, the prefab or one of the prefabs that it came with. And you're just gonna click and drag that into your scene. So what I like to do is hit the play button and then I get to just see that it like all the dynamic bone settings that it already came with. So now what you need to do is in your inspector, just zero out the position. And then if the avatar that you have is not ready for avatar, 3.0, what you need to do is remove the component. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a component, go to VRChat avatar descriptor. So now we see that the view position is a little bit off. So what we need to do then is go to view and we're gonna change the Y and the Z values until we get it to be like right on the bridge of our nose. So that way that's where your eyes are gonna see, like see out of the avatar. So for the lip sync, you're gonna make sure that you you select the mesh as the body. So most commonly the body mesh covers all of the face visemes. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna match all of the viseme sounds with the, the visemes in the drop down menus. Now a very new thing is something called eye look. So you're gonna expand eye look and then you're gonna click and drag the left and right eye bones. So you can find that in armature in the hierarchy. Then it's under spine chest, neck, head, 
And then you're going to see left and right eye. You're going to drag those in each in the right place. Now for the rotation states, uh, <clears throat> I would recommend making it so that you can see the front of your avatar. I personally found what worked best is minus 40 and 40 for each of the values. Your avatar might be a little bit different. So now for eyelids, uh, my avatar uses blend shapes to close the eyes and open them. So once again, you're going to drag in the, the, the body mesh. And then you're going to look through your visemes and you're going to find visemes that match for a blink, look up and look down. Next, to get our expressions working, we're going to have to go in, go into assets, right click create and go to animator controller. Now uh, you can name this animator controller anything. In my case, I'm going to name it FX gestures, just so I know what it is. Double click and you're going to see a new tab open up called animator. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to parameters and then you're going to go to the plus sign and then you're going to make two things under the int. So you're going to hit plus sign int, then enter in gesture left and gesture right. The next go to layers, hit the plus sign and you're going to name, you're going to make two layers, one called hand, right hand gestures and left hand gestures. For each of the weights, you're going to click on the gear of right hand and left hand and then change the weight to one. So now in left hand gestures, you're going to right click and create state and create an empty state. Now click on the state and now we're going to name it. So uh, you in the inspector, you can change the name. So in this case, I'm going to change it to idle. And then with the any state tab, I'm going to make a transition and then from the any state tab, click and drag it to idle. We're going to hit the plus sign in the conditions and then make sure that in the drop down menu it has gesture left and equals zero. So now you're going to go into your project folder and you're going to go to assets, animations, and this is from your, your prefab that you bought just from Booth. And you're going to look for the animations folder and then you're going to select all of the animations that are there except for idle. And then you're going to click and drag those into the animator scene. So now you're going to click on any state, make a transition and click and drag it to uh, the very first animator. So on each one, you're going to click on the conditions for the transition to each of the expressions that we just clicked and dragged in. And we're going to change the condition to gesture left equals. And then on the screen now, you should see uh, a number. So it's either going to be a one for fist, two for open hand, three for finger point, four for victory, five for rock and roll, six for handgun, and seven for thumbs up. In, in the settings is to change the transition duration to 0 0.1, and then you need to uncheck can transition to self. And now you want to make sure that you do this in every single transition. Next, we're going to go to right hand gestures. We're going to add in the idle again, and then go back to left hand gestures. We're going to copy all of the gestures and the transitions to any state. We're going to go back to right hand gestures and we're going to paste it. And then you should see that it should paste exactly like how it is in left hand gestures. Now you're going to go through each of the transitions and change the condition from gesture left to gesture right. Next, make sure that you link, you make a transition from any state to idle, and then you are basically ready to go. So now go back to assets and you're going to look for that animator file that we made, the FX dash gesture. You're going to go into the inspector by click and then click on your avatar in the hierarchy. You're going to click and drag the animator into the FX section of the gestures category, as you see in the inspector. And just like now normal, now we go to the VRChat SDK, click build and publish for windows. Then we're going to name our avatar. And then what's very important here is to make sure you set it to private because uh, most paid avatars, you must set it to private, not allowed to be public. And then say that it's yours. You have the rights to it, which you do because you bought it and then click upload. Now you're going to log into VRChat, try and find the nearest mirror. 
Go to your avatar menu, select your very new avatar that you just uploaded, and you're gonna see that all of your gestures are now working. Now, if you really wanted to, and you wanted to have a unique expression for each hand, right and left, you can make that different. But in this case, we're gonna make them exactly the same for simplicity's sake. If you found this video at all helpful, hitting that like or subscribe button really, really helps me out. And if you have any questions about how any of this works or if you're having issues, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my very best to get back to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.